Hey friends, I am early and I apologize for that, but I just got a reminder that school is dismissing at 1130 and I'm the driver today. So um, yeah, I'm jumping on a little early. I hope that I am ready um, and we're just going to go for it. All right. I'm going to switch the camera down and try to talk while I create. So today we are working um, using a technique that Rick Adkins shared called, um, oh darn it, stack, cut, and shuffle. All right. And the idea is that you take four pieces of coordinating designer series paper and you cut them um, in a stack. Now, I only have three. This is the uh, celebration paper from last January, I believe. It was a free item. And there are only three patterns. So one of these, uh, which is this one, I'm going to use twice. And you'll see how that works in just a second. So I need to cut this at, let's see, well, oh my gosh. All right, let me consult my directions here because... I'm, all right, I'm jumping around everywhere. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, okay, so this is this the stack is going to start at three and three quarters by five. Okay, so a stack of four. So give me just a second. Three and three quarters by five. Now, last night I did this with my team, and we did a stack that was. Um, four, four by five and a quarter. Okay, so this one is the one I want to do two of. Uh, I've seen this everywhere. I don't know that Rick actually discovered it, but he's the one that gets credit for it. All right, so here are my stack of my four papers. So I have one. Mm. <clears throat> two, three, and four. And if you can cut these all at the same time, that will work best. All right, so my first cut is at two and a half. We are working card Yahtzee today. The dice <clears throat> asked us to create a thank you card that was monochromatic, featuring the Suttles family with embellishment and coloring. All right, so now I have these two these two pieces. All right, I'm going to set this one aside for a second. I'm going to take this stack, turn it 90 degrees to the right, and I am going to cut it at two and three quarters. I'm just going to put this over here. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this one. I'm going to turn it to the right 90 degrees and I'm going to cut it at one and three quarters. Okay, so there are my four stacks. Now, let me show you the pieces that we have. I've gone with a card base that is basic gray. I've got four card bases cut and then I cut two card layers of Calypso Coral and two of Highland Heather. Um, sorry guys, I just realized that that's not showing quite right. Okay, um, and then I have inside pieces that are white to go inside and then I cut and stamped four die cuts from the hand pinned bundle um, which I've set aside. Okay, so I've got the hand pinned petals. That's what I stamped with this image here. And then I'm going to use the thanks from Artistically Inked. And I have labels that I cut with um, the scalloped contours dies, that's where my thanks is going to go. These we will color with Stampin' Blends, and I 
am not sure that we're going to get that far before I have to bolt to get the boys, but we're going to do what we can. All right. So let me see if I can get these in. So here they are. So you can see that here's where they were cut, cut apart. All right. And here are my card layers. So I'm going to bring a layer up and I'm going to take one, number one, from this stack. I'm going to pick this number two up. I'm going clockwise and I'm going to shuffle it one. And I'm going to take piece number two. And this is the third stack. I'm going to shuffle it and I'm going to take piece number three. And then from this last one, I'm going to take piece number four. So here's one, two, three, and number four. Okay, so that is our first card front. And I realize my lights, let's see, I jumped up here. Okay, let's just turn that one off. Okay, so now I've got another piece of Highland Heather. And now these are already shuffled, so I just pick the top one from each stack. Okay, so that's number two. Here's number three. This is on the Calypso Coral. Here's another on Calypso Coral. And I'm kind of lucky in that my pieces really aren't tied to any orientation. So I can make these portrait, or I can make them um, landscaped, either one. So now let's just pull in card base and decide how we want each one of these to lay out. All right, so I can decide that I like this. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a border around the edges. So I like that, but I think that actually, I would like this. like this. Now, you know, you remember, you ever noticed hardwood floors? When the planks are side by side, the ends never butt up against each other. So that's kind of the same goal here is I don't want the ends, I want them to be staggered. Okay, I like the way that looks. So we'll call that number, well, it's actually number four, but Okay, here's another Calypso Coral. And I've got this big stripe, so I'm kind of liking it going vertically. Now, I really, really, really want to see your creations. So I'm going to share the template, and then I'm going to beg, bribe, whatever I need to do to get you to share yours as well. So I like, I like that. Okay. I love basic gray. Okay. Then with this one, so here we have the stripes again. And I don't know why, I'm feeling like this white pattern is supposed to be on the outside. So I'm going to pick these up, shuffle them around.
I like that. Um, okay, I'm going to have to borrow this. So this is going to have some color to it. Where, where are these two pieces going to go? So they're going like that. You know, that, this is so big, they might need to go landscape, right? And I like what's happening over here. Of course, I could always put a little ribbon there. Okay. All right. So actually, I'm just going to take that whole thing just like that. And then this one. I like that this kind of has this little slit for this to slide into also because that makes a good place for the ribbon. Of course, this will be colored. So, all right, so that might be the next, the next piece. All right, okay, so let's color these with some Stampin' Blends. Um, I'm gonna get a color lifter. I always need a color lifter. I have about 15 minutes before I have to go. I should have set an alarm, but I didn't. Um, and of course, you know that once I finish this video, it will be uploaded to um, YouTube and will then be appearing in a blog post with more photos. I'm gonna need some green for my greenery and um, I think I might use, can't decide, soft sea foam or mint macaron. I mean, not soft sea foam, I'm thinking soft, so succulent or mint, but I'm, we're gonna give this a whirl. Okay, uh, so let's see. We may have to have a part two video. I don't know. You guys give me some give me some feedback. What are you feeling? Can I give you enough here and then with photos for you to do this? Or do we need to come back together? I'd really like to take my time coloring this a little bit more. There's no way we're going to get all four done. I'm thinking that maybe I can get one of them finished. So I'm coloring this with the Highland Heather blends. Actually, I had thought I would have a chance to color these before. I had given a hint that we might work on a birthday card for Harden, and it might be a give it a whirl using the give it a whirl dies. Um, I watched a couple of videos, and I decided that I didn't want to fumble around on that in a video. I wanted to do it uh, and perfect it before I shared it and showed you all what to do. Um, so for that reason, I changed, changed gears and decided uh, to do something a little different. Whoa. I hope my head's not in the way. I'm anxious for my team to show me what they came up with with this stamp stack 
stamp cut and shuffle I think that's the name of it for some reason I'm struggling to remember just what that name is I want this to have a really dark center here And again, if you are joining now, I am so sorry that I jumped on early. You're much more accustomed to be me running late and grabbing things as I go along. I complete the one. Yeah, thanks, Lou. That is kind of what I'm thinking too. All right, let's grab. It's funny that the dice seem to keep showing up with subtles. I told you that I am much more comfortable now with um, my own ideas than I was before simply because as I've done this card Yahtzee it's really gotten me out of my comfort zone which is it feels amazing um, not to say I don't turn to Pinterest and other training areas for ideas but I'm much more likely to see the options now than I was before which is just amazing to me but it's funny because I am not a subtles girl. But it seems like the subtles pop up more and more. So I'm like, hmm, I may have to figure out if I can weight these silly things so that the regals show up more for me. I'm totally teasing, but um, sort of. Even going fast, these flowers are gorgeous. Of course, you could color with the alcohol blends, the Stampin' Blends, the alcohol markers like I am right now, or you could pull out your watercolor pencils or your blending brushes um, and ink. And I feel like I need this little guy be a little more purple. Okay, so that's got us some coloring. Let's stamp our greeting. Um, Highland Heather or Basic Gray. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do one with Basic Gray. We'll see how we like it. Basic Gray. Get a block. This artistically inked. I have not used as much as I had thought I would. It was one of the first things to catch my eye in the catalog last year. You could even color some of your paper here, but I don't think that that's what I want to do. Now I'm going to take this to a little off center um, and I'm going to come, I'm going to come to the left and then I will drop that flower in on the right. Oh, I like the gray. I think that looks just really classic. All right, now let's get these little guys glued down. And now we could put them on dimensionals. I'm not going to do that for the first one, but we might try that on one of the others in a bit. I might just pop the Highland Heather piece up on dimensionals. Okay. Now I use the liquid multi-purpose glue because it gives me some room to wiggle. Now the trick is be sure that you turn the pieces the right way around. It 
course, and guys, they don't have to be perfect because remember, I've got some things that are going to go on top of this. Okay, so that's how that's going to go. Then we're going to put this like this. And I feel like this is going to go just like this. Maybe come down a little farther. Oh, I'm liking this. What are you thinking, Lou? How'd I do? these little boogers out of here. So I think that that just kind of tucks in right there. All right, so this leaf flower. Okay. Yeah, I like it tucked in too. Yeah, I think I like it like that. And then I, I think let's pop this up on the back too. Now, not all of these need to be unstuck. They're just there for support. They're the Sphinx of card making. All right, now I have a feeling I'm gonna get my big old head in here. And of course I didn't do the inside and I think that it needs some metallic pearls. How am I on time? Oh, I got five minutes. Um, where are they? Where are my metallic pearls? Oh, found them. I'm a huge fan of metallic pearls, silver and gold. Just her burl lives in my head. Um, and I think you could probably sprinkle a bunch of these here. She could probably, come, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I really, really like that. So when I post this to the blog, I will have the photos of the other four designs. I want to figure out how to do this one portrait and then I've got I feel like landscape is working best with the pieces I picked out but I think let's see if we can get let's see if we can get this just kind of an, a rough idea so we could come could come like this or even like this. I think that might work. Um, yep, yeah, that might work fine with that Calypso flower in the center being really pretty. Um, need to figure out some ribbon maybe. 
I don't know. I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, I'm going to run and go pick up Harden from school. It is day two of exams for him. Uh, I think yesterday was his hard day. And um, tomorrow we'll be back here at 2 o'clock for the online card class. And I think we're going to do that on Zoom. So uh, if you haven't seen that, then be looking for it. Come so that you can play along. All right. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for showing up early. And um, I will see you hopefully tomorrow and be looking for you to share your ideas. I'll post the template and I can't wait to see what you come up with too. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.